they some of the always have 22s and stuff. I don't care about the discount because that mm -hmm. discount is gonna come down to the same thing as a new one. But that's the sad part. Our bikes are devaluing. If I'm walking into a dealership right now, I'm buying a new one. I'm buying a new one. to another video. Yeah. Oh, we're here with the coolest white guy. No, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Chant, chant away, baby. All right. Um, I don't know if you guys have been in uh, around any of your local dealerships anywhere around the country, um, but there is a lot of 23 models left over on the shop floors, and I kind of wanted to have this conversation because. I'm wondering what's gonna happen because I don't I don't think they're moving or if they're gonna move or what. Um, I know a lot of them are being discounted uh, heavily, uh, which is good for someone who's buying. But at the same time, now that the 24 models are at, who's gonna buy an older model when the new model's out? And for example, if I could get a standard right now, starting price point is 25, and there's a 23 model. Uh, let's say a special or something where it starts at 27 or tw uh, 30. 30 grand or an ST. Or an ST, yeah. 32 or something like that. Uh, for me, for me, it's a no brainer. I'm going to go for the new model. Absolutely. You know, e even though I might get a discount on the older model, but even getting a discount on the older model is the same thing as you kind of buying the new model. Well, also. So, so for example, I'll, I'll make that a little bit clear. So if you're looking at an ST or a special, out the door, you're looking at 32, 34 grand, depending, mm -hmm. right? If uh, it's discounted. Yeah, out the door on a 24 model, you're looking at 30, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Base price on a special is 27,999, I believe, still. Maybe it might have changed. 30 it. grand on the ST. Right? And 30 grand on the ST. And the standard, the 24 models are 25. Mm -hmm. You know? 25,99. And even the old standards, or 23 23 around there yeah so it's like and then you got the 24s standards where you're getting tech better suspension new body uh bigger engine mm -hmm. led lighting all around a mm -hmm. uh, ton of sport modes uh these sport modes are uh, riding modes to me it's a no-brainer me as a buyer right now i'm buying the new one there's a caveat to that though like i was at the dealership yesterday one i was at a dealership yesterday they had no standards left. They had five street glide specials. I don't think they had any road glide specials. They had one ultra and one road glide ultra because they've been discounting their bikes and they don't have a lot. But the ultras or the limiteds or whatever you want to call them, they haven't changed this year. So if you were going to buy one, I'd buy the 23 because it hasn't changed. I'm pretty sure they'll probably change for next year. They will. For the 25. But if you're going to buy one this year, between the 23 and 24, I'd buy the 23. I'd wait it out. I would wait it out too, but if you had to buy, say you had no bike, and you wanted a bike, and you... And it had to be the Ultra? And it had to be the Ultra? I mean, you have no option. Yeah, exactly. That, that's different. The, uh, with, with the other model, with the other uh, models, you have an option. You know? True. That's what I'm saying. I would buy the new one. You would buy the new one? Yeah. But if I had, if I was going to buy an Ultra for whatever reason, I like the older style, my wife, you know, I need to torque back all the other stuff, I would buy the 23 at a discounted price. All right, so you, right now, let, let's just forget about, because let's forget about your bikes. Let's just say you were... I need ready. a bike. Let's just say right now you're ready to... Go you're, cross you're, country, you need a bike. Not even cross country, you just want a bike. Let's just yeah. say you want a bike, right, right now, even though you have other bikes. Mm -hmm. um, and then you walk into a dealership right now, and then the 23 models are discounted for four to five, six grand under. Mm -hmm. Are you going for that, or are you going for the 24 standard? If I'm buying a street guard or road guard, I'm going for the 24. If I'm buying the limited with the tour pack and all this stuff that hasn't changed. Well, you, you have no options for that. <laughs> you only have one option. Yeah. So you, that, that, that doesn't really count. Yeah. Just yeah. standards, that's it. Oh, just standard? And special, yeah. So you have 23 special and standard Oh, no, models. then I definitely buy the new one. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. Like you said, I would, I would, even if I was buying the Ultra, I'd wait till next year. Yeah. If I had to rent a bike in the meantime or whatever, I wouldn't buy, because 
they're they're worth 10 to 15 percent less so even they're discounting you if they're not discounting you like six eight grand then it's tough and the thing is that right when you take it off the lot and you take it home another look it, it's just gonna devalue so yeah, much so much you know and it's I mean, like, that's the sad part our bikes are devaluing and he said it's only gonna get worse yeah yeah so it's a it's a it's a tough it's a tough one to kind of digest, and that's what that's what I kind of wanted to have this conversation because I know a lot of people out there right now they're they're trying to figure out what should I do, what should I do. Me myself, I'm in the same predicament, you know. Like do I love my bike, or do you wait? I love my bike. I really I really do. I put so much you know work into it, and it looks great. And if I train my bike, I'm gonna take a huge hit, mm -hmm. you know. But I do want the new bike, you know. But as a consumer, if I was just let's just say if I didn't have this bike. If I'm walking into a dealership right now, I'm buying a new one. I'm buying a new one. Yeah, me too, 100%. I don't care about the discount because that mm -hmm. discount is going to come down to the same thing as the new one. And the new one's going to bring a ton of more. It's worth less. It's going to bring a ton of more. And you get so much more for it. Yeah, that. dude, bride modes, dude. The, the suspension. The traction control. 117. The brake hill hold or whatever, like all the stuff. like And, and the entertainment stuff. We're not even talking about the entertainment stuff. Yeah, that 12.3 that inch screen. Yeah. Upgraded speakers, mm -hmm. you know. Upgraded suspension, the engine, you get a 117 right off the bat. I mean, you, you don't have to do as much to the bike. You can, but you can just ride that bike stock, no problem. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The bars, which is huge, because mm -hmm. on these bikes, when you get them, you really got to switch up the bars, because that beach bar, is, like, it's horrible. And on the new one, you got a 27 degree mm -hmm. angle where you can just rotate it. And the it seat's actually you much want. better, too, right? The seats, it feels better. It's still not awesome, no, <laughs> but no. it's it's a it's a bigger it's an upgrade from the album stock. I know seat. people are riding this outgoing stock seat for years. I know people got twenty thirty thousand miles on it. I'm like, how do you ride that? I don't know how. I don't know how either. I, don't know how. <laughs> like, I can barely get down the block. I don't on know it. how. I really don't. Um, yeah, man. I'm. Uh, what, what what do you think is gonna happen with, with the ones that are in the shops? Like, if if they don't if if they don't sell, let's say within the next few months, you think they're gonna keep? So have to keep lower. I mean, you got they, some dealers have 22s in stock, but not those models. They have like 22. Uh, like soft tails or sportsters and stuff like that. They have 22 like Pan Americas and like Nightsters and stuff yeah. like that. But it's going to be the same thing if you don't start. You got to get this stuff out. Yeah, it's uh, it's a, it's a, it's weird, man. It's weird. It's definitely weird. Um, yeah, like what what do you uh, what are you guys doing? Are for those of you guys who are out there shopping right now, what are you looking at? Are you looking more at the discounted price? Or are you looking at the new months? One thing I do gotta say is that for the people that kind of hate the new models right now, now the is the best month, time to buy though, yeah. Now is the best time for you to buy because you're getting a huge discount. So mm -hmm. if you're really not feeling the new models and, and it's really not for you and you don't care about it, you want the old stuff, Hey, you're you're in a very good place right now. You're yeah, gonna save yourself a ton of money. Ton of money. So it's a it's a you know we got some pros and cons. Yeah, it all depends. If you want the outgoing model, buy the discounted twenty three. That's the no brainer because like you said, you get special financing and you get this uh, money off and you get like I think some kind of parts option or something yeah. like that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let us know what you think, what you want right now, and if you are getting one of the new models, what color are you looking at? And do you want it in black or do you want it in your chrome? I don't even know we're matching today, man. Hey, yeah. Yes, sir. Early Davidson. Er early Davidson. Hey, you've been working out, Jerry? Wow. Can I say? <laughs> a little cold. It's cold in here. <laughs> All right, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button so to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. Like always, let the portion with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Peace.